My brothers and my sisters in Islam, once Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu got together with all the Sahaba and he said, make a wish. He told the Sahaba to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a special dua and a special wish. So one of the Sahabi, he put up his hands to the sky and he said, Oh Allah, I wish that this room was full of gold and jewelry so that I could give it away straight away in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another Sahaba got up right after him and said, rather I wish that I had the mountain of Uhud in gold and jewelry so that I could give it away in the cause of Allah. So then at that point, Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu kept quiet. He heard what the people had to say and he kept quiet. So the Sahaba all looked at Umar and said, Ya Umar, what is your wish? What is that one special dua that you have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was going to grant us one dua for the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa not for us personally, but for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and his ummah sallallahu alayhi wa one dua, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to you that you can make one dua today that would be accepted by Allah azza wa jal. What would be that one dua that you make? So Umar radiallahu anhu, ta'ala anhu, he said, I wish that this room was full of men like the Sahaba of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so that I could spread Islam to this dunya and I could conquer the world. My brothers and my sisters in Islam, what Islam needs is not 1.5 billion people. What Islam needs is a room full of true men and true women. Islam does not need all of these numbers and large numbers coming into it. Actually, perhaps this is a burden on this ummah. Rather, what we need is a room, this room, full of true men and true women. It takes one man to change the world. One man, Muhammad Wasallam. One man, the prophets of God. One man it takes to change a century, to change an ummah in a century. The prophets some said, every single century, every single qarn, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send one man who will change the ummah and its situation and renew for it, for it, meaning the ummah, its religion. One man. My brothers and sisters in Islam, everything in Islam tells us to be that one person. Every single thing, whether you look in the Quran or the Sunnah or in history, every single thing tells us to be that one person, one man. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that's what he focused on. Focused on creating that one man and that one woman that would be enough to change the dunya. But the Prophet Sallallahu his greatness was that he left behind thousands of men and thousands of women who could change the dunya. It is unfortunate that they only lived for a few years, 70, 80, 90 years, but with the hope that their children, which is us, would come forward and take on their banner and their message. My brothers and sisters Islam, every single thing in this deen is about that one man and that one woman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ رِجَالٌ صَدَقُوا مَا عَهُدُ اللَّهَ عَلَيْهِ فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ قَضَى نَهْبَهُمْ وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَنْتَظِرْ وَمَا بَدَّلُوا تَبْدِيلًا From men, from the believers are men. Meaning not all believers are real men. You're a man, you're a man perhaps. I'm a man. But am I a man? A man. That is a real challenge today. To be the man that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly wants us to be. My brothers and sisters Islam, min al mu'minin rijalun. From the believers are men who are truthful to the covenant that they have placed with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From them are those that have passed away. From them are those that await. And they have not changed in their will. The scholars of tafsir are in complete agreement that this verse was revealed regarding a man by the name of Anas bin Nadar who failed to attend the battle of Badr. So he said, Oh Allah, give me one chance. Oh Allah, I missed the battle of Badr. And how dare I miss the battle of Badr? Oh, woe to me, I missed the battle of Badr. I wish, oh Allah, give me one more chance. Ya yeah, Khuti, we all missed the battle of Badr, did we not? We all missed being the companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, did we not? So why not make the same promise that Anas bin Nadar did? Oh Allah, give me one chance. Oh Allah, give me one chance. I will prove to you how much you mean to me. Oh Allah, give me one chance. Oh Allah, give me one chance, one life, one opportunity and I will prove to you oh Allah how much I love you oh Allah give me one chance and I will change myself and I'll change the ummah for you oh Allah give me one chance 
Where are the true men that make such promises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Where are the men who make such promises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What value is there in your life today? When you lead your life nine to five working for this cause, for this dunya, what value is there in your life, my brothers and sisters in Islam? To just feed your family in the way that you are, leading your life aimlessly without a purpose and a vision. What value is there in your life today? What value do you have for the ummah? If you died today, would anyone cry other than your parents and someone who knows you, your wife perhaps? Would the world miss you? What value do you have for the ummah Muhammad Wasallam today or for the dunya? My brothers and sisters in Islam, true men and women is what we need today. This is the need of the hour.